Good evening, ladies and gents. Just finished up with The Walking Dead, Season 1, Episode 3. We are now on to Episode 4, Around Every Corner. Sit back, relax. Let me check my clock. And let's go. Sorry, the last one was quite short, only about uh, 12 minutes long. But I did that on the sign. I didn't want to go back to back on going from Previously episode to episode. On the Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the good kid. I'll do it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. We need to know if they're okay. If, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Fine. You stay here and we'll go with your lady. The hell you will! Well, we made it to Savannah. Can't I just hold it? to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's O'Neal? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Yeah, you're right. Kenny, hold up. Kenny, God damn it! I said hold up! O'Neal needs to take a break. Just give him a minute. Oh We're almost at the river. Almost to the you. boats. Then it won't <laughs> hurt to stop for just one damn minute. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Hello? Hello? Are you there? What 
was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! How's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Ben. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's, it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck. At least not with me. Yeah, well, I figured that's probably for the best. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighborhood went just like that. It's, it's radio-controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Bullshit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> All right, so... Where's the dog? Every day's a school day. Enough to drink that yet. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No, 
they didn't see us. Too fast for me. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside, now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Empty. Something was buried here. Shovel. Dog house. Is never that useful. Dog house. And dog mound. Maybe. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Hey, what's buried down there? Whatever it is, it's been here a while. Ew, I can smell it from here. Gross! Clementine, honey, come sit with me in our need. Let Lee work. Smell. Ugh. Can't get it off. Ugh. Okay, that is not cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you? I said I'm fine. Okay. been into a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, what do you see in there? Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. So, when were you going to... 
tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long. Place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Stairs. No power. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. All clear in here. Just one more check. Not exactly my style. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. 
Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, just some dog food. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Claire. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee! Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. <clears throat> Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. The hell is that? Oh, my God. Ford was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know. I just... Oh, God. Here. This will make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. I know that you can. I couldn't even help my own boy. That was your own flesh and blood. No father could have done that. But you can help this boy. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. We should bury him. I'll take care of it.
Standing there by the fix, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kimmy? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. I saw the ruckus. Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing. But the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I don't know if it's safe to leave just yet. Why the hell not? Walkers look to have cleared out. That's not all I'm worried about. So you'd rather just hunker down here and just let whoever's out there keep us boxed in? Wait for them to starve us out? No thanks. I hate to say it, but Kenny's right. Omid's not in great shape to move, but we can't do anything for him here. Without meds or a doctor, he's only gonna get worse. All right, all right. I'll head to the river with Kenny to scope out a boat, or you get Omid ready to move. What about me? You'll stay here with the group. You'll only slow us down. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know it. It's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the <gasps> good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, uh, come on. Let's go see if Omid we'll needs anything. Sure. So, you're just gonna leave me on the so bench here? Come to two or five. You need to go up the apartment has That's not how it is, Bill. Laundry in you. I need you to stay mm. here and keep an eye on Clementine. I, know that. I can do that. Me too. Just so we're clear. Sure. While I'm Be gone, sure. anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot him. But I saw so Kenny. I got no problem shooting like, walkers. Maybe, yeah. Did you hear what I said? Other ones better. Hmm. Who's money? Climb.